Welcome to Ohio Valley Couponer. Today, when you guys are seeing it, it is Tuesday, June the 22nd of 2021, and I am here coming at you guys with an Ibotta couponing haul from Walmart, from Kroger, and from Target. And yes, I'm going to also be taking you guys in store to see all the products on the shelf as I'm gathering them and all that fun stuff. So we are going to go in the store, but I wanted to go ahead and open up this video, kind of explain what I had going on for this haul and how it was so amazing. As you read from that title, I got everything for under $5. Yes, under $5 for all these uh, like super expensive products I was able to grab today um, and yesterday as well. Using Ibotta, stacking bonuses, stacking coupons, it's all that fun stuff. I'm so excited. And if nothing else, this is just to show you, here's what $5 can get you when you utilize coupons, utilize rewards and rebate offers. Like this is how you can get these hauls for next to nothing. Like this is extreme couponing style like you'd see on TV. Getting these items, getting hundreds of dollars worth of products for like under $5. It's absolutely insane and I'm so excited. So I was able to stack three different bonuses on Ibotta. I had the... Midweek moneymaker for $5 back if I redeemed any 18 rebates. I also had the peak bonus, which was $3 back if I did 13, so I knocked that out. I also had the long haul bonus, which was for $2 back if I did 8. So all in all, I did a total of 21 rebates between Walmart, Kroger, and Target. For these bonuses, it's kind of weird. The midweek one stacked along with the um, peak and the long haul just fine. However, in order for me to do the long haul bonus, I had to complete the peak first. So a good example of this, and somebody asked this question to me the other day. Let's say you go into Walmart and you do 12 rebates. Let's assume you need 10 more to finish off peak bonus. You would need to do two transactions. One of them with the 10 rebates. This is exactly the scenario I had. I need 10 more rebates to finish it off. So I did 10 in one transaction and then you submit that receipt, and then you do the other two in a separate transaction. The reason that is, is because I'm not 100% sure, but since these bonuses, you have to complete one of them to unlock the other, I would not think that doing it all in the same receipt would work. I think you need to separate to finish off your peak bonus, and then the next receipt move into the, um, what's it called? Whatever it's called, I don't remember at this point. But anyways, yeah, so... That's kind of how that works, kind of kind of different, but hopefully that helped bring some clarity on how these work. So in the description box below is the printable breakdown for all these deals, all typed out and spelled out all nice and neat. Hopefully you guys um, want to use that. Doesn't um, Definitely still watch the video because I know some people just skip straight to that and that's really not um, the point. The point is, is it's a supplement to my videos. It's not a replacement, it's just a supplement. So you don't have to sit and write everything out by hand. So definitely still watch the video. That's how um, support comes from my channel and allows me to do this. So definitely keep watching. Also, if you want to support my channel, there are two other ways that you guys can help me out. First up is new printable coupons in the description box below. We got a bunch of new printable coupons this week. So please consider using my link to print those. It really helps me out when you do so and allows me to keep on bringing these videos. So consider doing that. Also, if you're not already on the rebate apps like Ibotta, Fetch Rewards, Shopkick, MyPoints, Inbox Dollars, Go in the description box below and use my referral codes to sign up. Really helps me out when you guys use my codes to sign up and it allows me to keep on bringing you guys these videos. So if you do enjoy my videos, consider doing that as well. It actually will give us both a little kickback when you use my code. When you use a referral code, it gives you guys some extra points. It gives me some extra points. It's a win-win for all of us. All right, so that's all I got to say. Let's head on in. We're going to start with Walmart. If you could care less about Walmart, I have timestamps in the description for Kroger and Target. You can skip around and pick whatever store you want to watch. So we're starting with Walmart. All right, I'm gonna grab one of these mentholatum um, vapor rub things. They're $1.97 over at Walmart. I have two different rebates for this. I have a 75 cent rebate for any mentholatum ointment rub. And then I also have a rebate for 10 cents back. Counts as a sleep aid. I don't know why it counts for that. I guess people they think you use this to help you go to sleep. I don't know, but that's gonna count as two rebates towards that bonus. So it's gonna be a pretty awesome deal, like $1.13 and it counts for two rebates. So excellent deal. All right, I'm gonna grab one of the Bear Aspirins for $2.24, and I have a rebate on Fetch Rewards just to get $2 back on one, so it's gonna make this $0.24. Cents. Really great deal. 
All right, so I'm gonna buy one of these Edge shaving creams for 263, and I have this one-off one peely that somebody sent me a long time ago, so I'm gonna use that. So I'm gonna pay $1.63, and then I bought it has a rebate for $1 back, so just gonna make it 63 cents, and it works towards my bonus. All right, so another really good deal over at Walmart that is gonna count for two rebates towards my bonus is on the Always deal. So I'm gonna buy one of the Always underwear for $3.97, and I'm also gonna grab one of these cheapo Always pads for $3.12. There's a rebate on Ibotta for $2 back on any Always pads, so it's going to work for this. And then there's another rebate for $3 back if you buy any of the Always underwear, so I'll get that back. But then there's a bonus. If you redeem any two Always or Tampax offers, you get an extra dollar back. So for the underwear and for the pads, it's going to be $1.09, and that counts for two rebates towards my bonus. So super awesome. All right, so I'm gonna do the Suave Body Wash. This is not as good of a deal as last time, but it's still really good and counts as two rebates towards my bonus. So I'm gonna buy one of these Suave Men's Body Wash for $1.88, and then I'm gonna come on down here and buy a Suave Women's Body Wash for $1.88. I have coupons for a dollar off of two that Suave sent to my email, so I'm just gonna use that. And then I have a 75 cent rebate on the women's and a 75 cent rebate on the men's. So in the end, all right, so it's gonna be $1.26 for both of these, or just like 60 something cents a piece and it works good two rebates towards the bonus all right so super awesome freebie on the shea moisture sanitizers this is with the skincare products at my walmart right here um they're 297 each and i'm going to use this coupon from the 613 save for six dollars off of any two shea moisture products so it's just going to make both of these since they're 297 it's going to make them both totally free thank you to coupon wins with lens for sharing this deal on um her instagram where i saw it really really great deal all right, so I'm going to grab one of the seventh generation dish soaps again. I love this one. I love that it just keeps resetting over and over because you can never have enough dish soap. It's two seventy seven. dollars between the Buy It and the Skin Cakes on Shopkick, it gives back $2.50, just making this $0.27. Cents. Really great price. All right, I'm going to grab the Ah uh, Sparkling Waters. These are three thirty eight dollars over at Walmart, and I have a Peely coupon here for $0.75 cents off of one. So I'm going to apply that. And then there's a rebate on Ibotta for a dollar back if you buy one. So I'm just going to make it like a dollar eighty-eight for eight cans. So pretty good deal. And I do like this stuff. All right. So we're going to grab another one of the Nerds Gummy Clusters. I think I'm actually going to get two of them because these are just really good. They're 98 cents each. And there's an Ibotta for 50 cents back, just making them 48 cents a piece. So really good deal. All right, so I'm going to grab these Del Monte. They're the veggie full um, sandwiches, little hot pocket things. They're three forty eight at Walmart. I'm going to buy one of the broccoli potato ones for three forty eight. There's a one dollar I bought it, and there's a dollar forty eight on Shopkick between the buying the skin cakes, just making these a dollar, which is awesome. I'm also going to go ahead and grab one of the plant based ones. So it's either the plant based Philly steak. Or there's one other one I do not know. Uh, I'm just gonna get the Philly steak. They are three forty eight. Same deal. There's a dollar I bought them, and then there's a separate shop kick for the plant based ones. So that's why I'm gonna go ahead and grab two. So these are gonna be two dollars for both packs. That's a really awesome price. All right, I'm gonna grab another one of the Mintos here for ninety four cents, and shop kick has the rebate for sixty two cents back, just making these thirty two cents. Really good deal. All right, spur of the moment item that I grabbed that the Sour Patch or Sour Punch bites are at the front of the store. They're just a dollar, and there's a 35 cent I bought it, so it's gonna make it 65 cents. All right, and then I'm finally gonna grab one of the Trolley Sour Gummy Creations over here at Walmart for a dollar, and there is a 50 cent rebate on I bought it, just making these 50 cents. So, really good deals. That's it for Walmart. Let's head over to Kroger now. guys in Kroger and I am doing a lot of repeat deals that I did the last time I was here utilizing I bought it in Kroger cash back if you didn't know Kroger cash back typically is limit one per account like you'll use the offer and then you can't use it again unless it resets um so I'm using my grandma's Kroger cash back account so that's how I'm able to do these deals twice a good suggestion is if you have family members who have Kroger cards which if you're in an area with a Kroger, everybody probably has a Kroger card. See if they'll let you use their digital coupons and Kroger cash back. It really helps out a lot. So I'm going to do the Black Forest again. These are on sale for $129. There's a $0.25 cent I bought it and a $0.25 cent Kroger cash back, making it $0.79. Cents. So really good. All right, so I'm also going to grab another one of the undercover snacks that are $3.99. I have a $2 rebate on I bought it as well as a $2 Kroger cash back. So I'm going to get this for free. And these just look so good. I've not tried them yet. I need to go ahead and try them soon, but... 
yeah awesome yummy freebie all right so i'm splurging a little bit on these garden of eaten chips these are so good the touch of lime i'm gonna go ahead and grab two they're on sale two for five and i bought a has rebase for one dollar back so it's gonna make them a dollar fifty so these two are gonna be three dollars but I'm totally okay with that. Count towards the bonus, and these are just really good. Now, keep in mind, you don't have to buy two. They're just $2.50 each, but why not? I'm going to get two. I want two. It looks like my store has two left. No, I guess there's more than that, but I'm going to go ahead and get two of them. All right, I'm going to do the Cinnamon Toast Crunch um, seasonings again here, the Cinnadust. If you guys have my points, it is slightly higher value there, but I already redeemed it on my points. So I'm going to go ahead and do it on Swag Bucks and Inbox Dollars. If you didn't know... The offers on all three apps are pretty much the same, and you can redeem it once per app. So I'm going to do two on my, um, I'm sorry, Swag Bucks and two on Inbox Dollars. There's $2.99, and there's a rebate for $6 back if you buy two. So I'm going to buy two of them for $5.98, submit for the $6 rebate. It's going to make them both free. Awesome deal. All right, I'm also going to grab another one of the OWYN protein shakes there on sale for $6.99. I have a rebate on Ibotta for $3 back if I buy one, and I also have a Kroger cash back for $3 back on one, so it's just going to make this $0.99. Cents. Really sweet deal. All right, I'm going to grab another one of the Alka-Seltzer gums that are $4.79. I have a rebate on Ibotta for $2 back if you buy one, and I also have a Kroger cash back for $2 back if you buy one. Just going to make these $0.79. Cents. These are really nice. I've been enjoying grabbing these during my bonuses. I wish, I so wish it worked on these instead, though, because I like those better. But this is still good, so awesome deal. All right, guys, we're in Target. I'm going to buy one of these Alive um, multivitamins here. This is $7.99. I'm going to use this one up, one Peely, so $6.99. There's also a Circle offer right now that's 30% off, so it's going to take off $2.37. And I bought a has a rebate for $4 back, so it's just going to make this $0.59. Cents. Really great. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and do the Purex Snuggle deal at Target right now. So there's a super amazing gift card if you buy. There's participating products, Purex, all Snuggle, all we need to worry about here is Purex. We're going to buy one of these big Purex jugs for $7.99. And then we're also going to buy one of the Snuggles here that are $7.99. They're on this deal. If you buy two, you get a $5 gift card. So we're going to get that back. I have a circle offer for a dollar off of one Purex. So I'm going to load that. And I'm also going to load, or I'm sorry, submit to Ibotta for a dollar back on the Purex. But the thing that really makes this so great is there's a super amazing offer right now on Target, or I'm sorry, their manufacturer put out to submit for a 100% rebate back on a Snuggle product up to $10.99. So we're going to get $7.99 back for this. So in the end, it's going to make it a dollar for both of these or 50 cents each. Yeah, totally taking advantage of that. Really, really cheap single roll of paper towels here at Target. The Bounty Essentials, they are $1.59 and Shopcake has a rebate right now. Um, between the buy and the scan cakes, you'll get 315 kicks back. So it actually drops these down to just 33 cents, which is a really awesome price. All right, guys, I'm also going to grab one of these Bounty Essentials paper towels. These are $1.59. Shopkick has 315 kicks back if you buy this and scan this. So it's actually going to end up making this just 33 cents. There's a really good deal. Now, what I've decided to do here, I have a couple different offers through Target that are really amazing. And I'm going to go ahead and take advantage. First up, I have a special circle offer right now for if I spend $75, I get $15 off of my purchase, which is awesome. Also for this haul, I'm going to count my Chase credit card rewards to pay for this. If you guys didn't know, I use a Chase credit card to pay for all my couponing hauls. And then twice a month, I go in and pay it off using my PayPal money. All my hauls pretty much end up being free. So whenever I spend, I get that money back in rebates. It just goes back into my PayPal account. And then I go on ahead and pay it off. So I'm never paying interest or anything like that. I just use the credit card simply for the fact that I reap a bunch of rewards. So I have over $25 in rewards I got on this last statement. So I went ahead and redeemed those the other day. And I'm just going to go ahead and allocate it towards this haul. Because I didn't really allocate it any other time. I just redeemed just in my account, making my payment less. So we're going to go ahead and count it towards this haul. Which is going to make this all like really close to free. I think it's actually going to make it a little money maker. So super awesome. So I'm going to buy one of the Charmins here that are $6.99. And I have on Shopkick 315 skin kicks, which is the equivalent of $1.26. So it's going to make it like $5.73. But remember, I have those Fetch gift cards that's going to help pay this down. And then I'm going to buy one of the Charmins that are $12.99. And I will get back $3.06 on Shopkick for this one. And that'll count nicely towards the $75 coupon. All right. And then I'm actually going to buy four of these Smartly two packs of paper towels that are just $1.29. 
All right, so I'm gonna pick up some of the Skippy peanut butter over at Target. It's $2.50 now, I'm just gonna buy one. I have a 10% off circle offer I'm gonna use, so it's gonna take off 26 cents, and then I'm gonna submit to Ibotta for a dollar back. So it's gonna make these like a buck or something really cheap like that. Pretty good deal. And it's gonna count towards that um, 15 off 75. All right, so to wrap this up, I'm gonna get the Huggies Special Delivery diapers that are $24.99. I have a $2 off of one circle, so it's gonna make it $22.99. I also have a Fetch Rewards rebate for $10 back on one, so it makes it $12.99. When you factor in that $15 coupon, it's going to make these a really good deal. So in the end, I'm using $25 of referral credits from Fetch, free money. I'm using that $15 off $75, but I'm combining it with all the rebates and Shopkick offers and all that fun stuff. So Target is actually a really good success this week. Awesome, awesome. I'm going to go home and actually break all this down for you guys once we get back home in more detail, but awesome. All right, guys, so here is the finished haul. This is all from Kroger. This is all from Walmart. And then this is all from Target. So I'm going to kind of go down. I gave you the individual deals in the store. But I'm going to go through and explain some things, especially this Target deal. And I'm also going to kind of tell you guys about any problems we had. So with Kroger, pretty much everything worked out just fine. I bought it, worked perfect, except with the Cinnamon Toast Crunch deal, which this I'm not even worried about. Same kind of thing happened last time when I did with my points. They did not automatically pick up this offer. So I clicked the request or review of my receipt button. There I uploaded the receipt and said they couldn't find the matching items. So I clicked the request or review button and 99% of the time within a few minutes, it'll run through and give credit. So I just did that. That worked the same way on um, swag box and inbox dollars, but Kroger was fine otherwise. Walmart. I had a couple issues at Walmart. The first one being you're not seeing the Shea Moisture Sanitizer that I talked about. Well, the reason for that is that my store um, had, this is really annoying, they did a shift change or whatever. The cashier, like five minutes before I was checking out, was super nice. I knew she would have took care of my issues, but they shift changed. And so when I scanned that Shea Moisture coupon, it beeped and said set item aside for cashier. That just happens in Walmart because most of the time if the coupon is over a $5 value, it does beep and requires the cashier to come approve it and to manually enter it in. So she comes over and she was cut pretty rude, honestly. She was like, did you scan everything? And I'm like, I'm finishing. She's like, well, scan your stuff first. So I go through and scan everything. And of course, that doesn't magically make the coupon work. Um, and so she's like, pulls, she just takes it upon herself to start digging through the bags and finding the Shea Moisture I bought and she finds them. And I said, it didn't say anything about sanitizer. And she said, well, I don't think it works on sanitizer. I'm like, well, it doesn't say that on there. And so then she's like, well, how much were these? And I said, $2.97. And she doesn't give a reason why or anything. She just says, I'm not running that through. I can't run that through. And I'm like, okay, just take it off. I don't argue with cashiers anymore. I really have enough sanitizer. I was just getting it to show you guys in the hall. But proceed with caution if you want to do that deal. Then the always deal. I had originally got the cheaper always pads. Well, that one didn't work. Um, I had saw somebody do it a couple weeks ago on those 312 always pads, but I guess they changed the rebate because it did not work on that. And shame on me for not scanning in the store to check. So I had to go back in and return those, which the, the um, customer service worker was like, she thought I was returning pads for, like, my girlfriend or around if she thought I was married or what. But she thought I was returning pads for somebody. And she's like, oh, I give you an A-plus for trying. And I just laugh because I'm not going to explain <laughs> the couponing situation with the pads. But anyway, um, I just returned those. And I went and bought the Tampax instead for $3.97. I had a $2 Ibotta and I got the $1 bonus. So this was more money than I wanted it to be. It was, like, 80-something cents more money. But that's okay. It still worked out as a decent deal. Um, and then, is that it? I don't think I had any other. Oh, the bare aspirin. This is a little bit of a problem. Fetch didn't automatically pick this up, but I had to click to correct my receipt and select the bare low dose, and I did end up making it work. So there's that. The Del Monte Veggie Folds, for some odd reason, it didn't. The scan kicks didn't work on this, even though it was literally the thing in the picture. So I just went and scanned a... Um, I went and scanned the other variety, the rosemary chicken and garlic or something, and that one worked. So I don't know what's up with that. I think that's all the issues at Walmart. Pretty much everything else worked out just fine. So there's that. And then Target. Target, this deal was amazing over at Target, which I understand that everybody's able to do. I kind of talked about it earlier. I have credit card rewards from using my Chase credit card. Um, I don't know. Everybody has that. So I'm going to give you guys what this would cost 
if you didn't have the rewards. You could always sub in a gift card from Fetch Rewards or something like that. You totally could do that if you want to use uh, Fetch Points. You could do that. Here's what this comes down to. It comes to, this is actually 10 cents off. It actually comes to $60. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Or I'm sorry, $59.07. $59.07. I got back $5 in the form of a Target gift card. So I will get, I got that back. Also, this would, is a mistake on my part, but I had to go up the Alive Circle offer. I could have, like, I was so sure I loaded it, but it did not load. So I went up to the customer service desk and I told them that, and they were able to give me a um, refund for a missed coupon. So that the 30% off the Alive totaled. $2.40, so I got that back. I got back $6 on Ibotta for the Purex, for the Alive and the Skippy. I got back eleven twenty three on Fetch, because for some reason I got back 10,000 points for that one offer, and I also got back 1,000 points. I don't know why this was 1,000 points for any Huggies, so I got that back as well. I'll get back seven ninety nine for the Snuggle, and I got back five sixty two on Shopkick. So that drops us all down to $20.83 plus your taxes. I also earned back $0.58 cents in circle earnings for all this stuff, which is amazing. Um, so, yeah, really a great deal. But for me, how this spelled out, it actually came with taxes. It came to $63.14. I got like the $5 gift card, the post coupon for the Alive. Six dollars from Ibotta, eleven seventy, or I'm sorry, eleven twenty-three on Fetch, seven ninety-nine from Rapid Rebates, and five sixty-two from Shopkick. That comes to twenty-four ninety. Got back twenty-five dollars and fifty-three cents from Chase that I applied towards this, or just counted off of this. So made it all free plus a sixty-three cent money maker. But then I also got back the fifty-eight cents worth of circle earnings. So it was an absolutely amazing, amazing deal. But I think regardless, even if you don't have any credit card earnings, I still think that twenty dollars and 63 cents for the Huggies, all the paper products, all this stuff. I think that's a phenomenal, phenomenal price. And I would have even been happy with that. But it's a great deal utilizing that 15 off 75. Now, I know not everybody's going to have that coupon, so check your accounts. But that's a really awesome deal. So let's go ahead and talk some money. All this stuff came to $104.85 out of pocket. That is after the Chase reward. I just deducted that off, so it would have been even more. I didn't exactly pay that. I did roll some gift cards from Fetch over at Target and some other previous gift cards I had, but that does not count off of the price. Um, I got back $29.45 on Ibotta, $14.46 from Shopkick, $15.24 between the rapid rebates for the Snuggle and Kroger cashback. I got back $6.02 from Swagbucks, $13.37 from Fetch, and eleven fifty in various rebates, so I got back um, five fifty eight in Target gift cards and Circle earnings. I'm gonna start counting the Circle earnings basically when I earn them now, rather than when I use them, because I think that's more realistic. So if you buy all this stuff, you'll get fifty eight cents of Circle earnings. That makes more sense than counting it when I use it. I got back six dollars and two cents from Inbox dollars. So that totaled the eleven sixty. So that all comes to fourteen dollars and seventy one cents. Not too shabby. I also uploaded my three Kroger receipts. Actually, I actually uploaded every receipt I had to fetch, and I got some points, just extra points back. Okay, I got back five dollars for my midweek money maker. I got back three dollars for the peak bonus, and I got back two dollars for the long haul, which made all this stuff a cost of four dollars and seventy one cents. $4.71 for Charmin. Okay. Nine rolls of paper towels. Okay. Purex and Snuggle. Absolutely. These tortilla chips, which are amazing. <laughs> Absolutely. These Hot Pockets here. All this stuff. I'm thrilled with it. Whatever I cannot use, I'll donate. Those diapers I'll either give to... Um, I don't know. I have some family with babies, so I don't know if they'll want those, or I'll donate them or something. But certainly... I, all these products will get put to really, really good use. And for $4.71, I am not going to complain. So, yeah, that's all I got for today's haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I hope it gave you guys some inspiration. Let me know how far ahead you are in your bonuses. How many more bonuses um, are you on the climb? Are you at the peak? Are you at the long haul? Are you finished? I'd be amazed if somebody finished already. Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear it. And, yeah, that's all I got. And thank you so, so much for watching.